regardless of how it's done, it's not going to fix our race. We have to actually have outcomes, prioritize what should be paid, what should be widened. You know, it takes me now 30 minutes to get my kids to school, to get home, to get to work, and it didn't used to. And it's not safe. We have some of the most dangerous roads in the entire nation. And it's ridiculous we can do that. So would you support the bill that came out, or would you would have vetoed it? Well, or it we, we, we have it. I mean, I think the people have spoken through the, through the General Assembly. We're just tired of not having what we pay for. Um, so it's time to I'm going to put you on the spot, because Nancy McGill came out and said that he would have done the same thing that Henry McMaster did. He would have just passed the gas all it seems like it seems like you're getting you're getting out of it a little bit to say we have the bill that we have the law. So what would you have done? We I, I continue to say that we cannot throw money at problems and think that's going to solve it. We just absolutely can't. That's what government does. And you know, in business at home, you start with I need food, I need a paycheck, I need to pay my car bill. You don't start with let's go get all the money we can and throw it out and see if hopefully it works. So we have to absolutely we use the money that we have on the things that we need. And building our roads is a core function of government, no matter who you are. You agree with that. So, I, again, my biggest concern is that we're not going to have a road service, even though we've now put more taxes on our people. In fact, here's the thing that nobody's concentrating on, and I find that very interesting. The soundbite, the political wins, the conversation has been around raising or not raising the gas tax which for the average driver is going to actually save them money because it's $50 a year to actually cure the disease instead of paying for all the symptoms we were paying for. But two weeks earlier, the governor signed into law an $800 million tax increase at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move so I appreciate that everybody's concentrated on the two cents, the rules committee but that you know, the taxes were raised this year in Chairman many the other ways. Mr. You know, don't keep your Thank eye on the shiny President. ball. Pay attention to what government's First doing time. to you every day. Thank and again, at the end of the day, our roads aren't going to be fixed just because we threw money at it. This is not the right way. Speaking of the pension plan, obviously it was one of the other key pieces of legislation that passed this year. Uh, it was done, to, some lawmakers say, just to shore up the system and make sure that what these people paid into the system they can pull out. Do you support moving away from a pension plan for state employees or you know, removing some of the local government employees from the state pension plan? My biggest problem with a pension plan is that the people, I grew up in a family of teachers, uh, our law enforcement officers, all the people that are using or are on the pension plan are not getting paid enough as it is, and they are having to put even more in, and putting $800 million in the pension fund didn't shore it up. Um, I, I think government's doing a lot of things that government doesn't have any business doing. You know, I respect a lot of the members of the legislature, but they're not actuarials. They don't need to be running a pension fund. Um, the pension fund as well, I mean, you can't take the money away from people that they have been promised legally, but we do have to responsibly fund it.